Hello. In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at threading. One thing that I actually haven't covered in any language at my um, YouTube channel. But we're gonna start off here with uh, C sharp. There we go. And I'm gonna bring in my debugger. Where am I gonna put it? I'll put it Yeah, guess it'll go here. Uh, error list. I'd put. Is there no way I can? Yeah, there we go. Um, new project. I've recently been using this quite often to do multiple things. Um, threading example. Yeah. And. I'm also going to touch on invoking stuff in this, if I can remember how to. So I'm going to add a list box, just because it's, you know, simple. And let's say I wanted to do this for in i in i equal to 0 while i is small than, let's say, 100. And then I plus plus and for each we want to do list box dot we want to do list box one dot items dot add i dot two string and then we'll do yeah we need to implement one thing up here using system dot threading so what we'll do is thread dot sleep for 500 milliseconds and if I start this now this is what you'll see nothing will happen let's put this on a button instead then I can show you button let's just, just make this a really big button really big one I will write that trust me so if I press this now, you see the f the form is frozen. Nothing is happening, and that's because we are pausing the main thread for 500 milliseconds while we do this. So with a quick bit of math, this is two of these two. It will take 50 seconds for this form to respond again, and well. This is a quite useless example because you know you can do this and bam, there you go. But sometimes you have tasks which take takes longer times, and there's the thing you need to implement threads. Now, let me just close my door. And what you want to do is not do anything in here. You could use a background worker, I don't like them. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new method. Like, ah, oh, it'll be public, doesn't, re doesn't really matter right now. Public, it has to be a void. And let's just call this populate list box. And it has to take an object. In the most examples I've read, you have they usually uh, use the um, variable name of thread context. Don't ask me what it is that actually comes in here. So we'll put this here. And this is actually quite simple if you just want to do this. Um, let's, let's just start with new thread. New thread t equal new thread. And then in here, new thread star. And then you'll go populate list box. No parentheses like if you would call it, but just like that. And then you wouldn't have this. Then you would have t.star. Simple as that. Press me. And yeah, here you go. Well, I'll show you again actually. And on the exception. Invalid operation exception. Yes. 
we need to invoke because we're trying to do one thing on a thread from another thread so it's it's not working um, the way you do this is you can do this dot invoke and then you can go new action and you go like this make sure you get all the parentheses right here so you have new action and then the ending parentheses parentheses of this is over here then you have so if I space this out a bit it would be like this so it's not too hard actually if I start this now we should be going yes you see the th it hasn't frozen you know oh this is maybe looking like shit on camera but yeah anyway that's working if you want to send an object here you can only send one object and one way around it is just to send a list of objects or an array of objects and just pick out a, the elements from that um, anyway object thread thread Text. We'll do that. Then this can't be like this. No, no, no. It's new parameterized thread star. And then it's just the same, you know? Populate list box. But then you might be thinking, okay, but where do I put my, you know, argument? It's down here in the thread star. You can put like sub. So and then, yeah, just to prove it, I'll just go here and say thread context dot two string. If I add that, we should we should see sub. Yes, good. Now, it's from a performance standpoint, this isn't that good from what I've read me to. You for this short well this isn't a short task but if you have this task that takes just a few seconds you know you'll usually use a thing called a thread pool and if you've done some research you probably heard about this it's actually easier to use so what you do is just thread pool dot q user work item and then here you put your name you know popular populate list box and yeah that's it say run work so yeah um, this is the most clean way and easy way I've found of um, invoking stuff because all the other methods of invoking I've seen uses a delegate which is especially customized to the task you want to do so if you, you know, want to call 15 different things on your form, you have to have 15 different delegates. And this one, you can just, you change this part, and you're good. So yeah, that's been it for this tutorial, I believe. And yeah, hope it helped. Thanks for watching.